This is the Greenpeace ship MV Esperanza, and it is now docked in Manila. Greenpeace is a participant in the Western and Central Pacific Fisheries Commission, attended by delegates from 30 countries. The meeting wants to find a solution to tuna overfishing in the Pacific. Greenpeace is calling for an extension of a total ban on tuna fishing. And that's to protect not only the, the ocean and the fisheries themselves, the fish stocks themselves, but also to make sure that the fishing industry has a future, including the, the Philippine fishing industry. The WCPFC banned tuna fishing in certain pockets of the Pacific Ocean to protect the population of yellowfin and big eye tuna. The Philippines was granted a special four month access to high seas pocket one, an area bounded by Papua New Guinea, Micronesia, and Indonesia. The exemption aims to keep Filipino fishing vessels out of local waters to replenish the badly depleted stock of local tuna. During the total ban in 2010, Filipino fishermen resorted to catching juvenile tuna within Philippine waters. The Philippines wants to keep its access to pocket one. If you allow us, if you, they don't allow us to go to the high seas, we will continue to become an irresponsible fishing nation because we're catching juveniles. But Greenpeace doubts Philippine vessels will abide by the terms of the exemption. Last month, Greenpeace caught the Filipino vessel Sail 19 and two other Indonesian vessels illegally transferring frozen tuna to a Cambodian vessel. Transshipment of fish from one vessel to another is prohibited in international waters. Mid-sea fish transfers has proven to aid illegal fishing. Greenpeace believes the fishing exemption will only set the stage for more illegal transfers. We've seen non-compliance by that fleet that's now back in the, in the high seas operating there. So we want to see these areas closed, not just to the Philippines, but to all fleets. Pew Environment Group says there are gaps in the enforcement by the international fishing regulation body. There's no comprehensive inspection scheme, no requirement for vessels to provide information before entering port, and no prohibition of port entry to illegal vessels. It seems the International Commission doesn't have the muscle to enforce any fishing ban in the Pacific, partial or total. And as countries trade off short-term gains for long-term sustainability, tuna stocks dwindle in the Pacific. Daniel Rudin, Rappler, Manila.